Operators of a controversial high power transmission line moving wind generated electricity across northern Missouri have cleared another major regulatory hurdle. The Missouri Public Service Commission has signed off on the Tiger Connector, an offshoot from the main line that will deliver power as far south as Callaway County. The project got the green light over the objections of the Missouri Farm Bureau and multiple property owners. It completes a $7 billion, 800 mile system known known as the Grain Belt Express, which will deliver electricity from windmills in Kansas as far east as Indiana. Over the years, it has triggered countless debates and revisions of Missouri's laws on the use of eminent domain. Farm Bureau President Garrett Hawkins says the PSC has put a lot of faith in a company called Invenergy to, quote, do the right thing. Hawkins says history does not favor that. A youth football coach shot four times by the parent of a player says the father was mad because his son was not getting enough playing time. 30-year-old Shaquille Lattimore is recovering at a St. Louis hospital and has told reporters he will be okay. He identified the shooter as 43-year-old Daryl Clemens, who turned himself in and now faces prosecution for first-degree assault and armed criminal action. Lattimore volunteers as an assistant coach for a city recreational league team called the St. Louis Bad Boys. He was shot at practice Tuesday. His mother, who lost another son to gun violence two years ago, says Lattimore will recover. He's making amazing progress. He um, is up, sitting up in the chair. He's talking. He's in good spirits. I'm, I'm pleased. Shaquille Lattimore says he did not see the gun until it was too late. He says Clemens had turned his back and kept reaching into his pocket in the sweatsuit for before opening fire. He says he ran and Clemens shot him in the back, then shot him again while he was on the ground.